Hey guys, so let's take a quick look into the portfolio area. Now, whenever we want to create a new gallery, we'll need to go over to this galleries area and click on add new. At this point, we'll add in our gallery title at the top of the following page. Okay, next off, scrolling further down here, we have the option to upload our images. So click here to add images to your gallery and you can either drag and drop images into this upload area, click on upload file, select images from your computer. Uh, in my case, since I've already uploaded several images, I'll just select them from my media library. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on select and my images will be had, added here. Next off, you can uh, then just sort them around, drag them around into any order you prefer. And uh, then head on over to the gallery view. Within the following area, you have the option to override the uh, default gallery view. Now, if you remember, whenever you were setting up the website initially, within the flow theme area, going over to pages, there is a section that's called portfolio gallery. Within the following area, you selected the default layout for all of your galleries. So if, for example, you know a specific layout that you will keep for all of the galleries, uh, you select one of the following layouts and simply go ahead and click on publish. Now, if for any reason you want to change out uh, your layout for this particular gallery, go ahead and select the following option, and then you can select which gallery you want to go with. So gallery type A, here we have the details, gallery type B, here we have the details as well. All right, so this is just an option uh, for you to uh, create somewhat different galleries if those are required. Okay, uh, for gallery type B, we also have the option to add in some text, and the text is added into the following area. So let's go ahead and get some dummy text, and I'll just copy paste in here. Okay, at this point, once you've added all of this info, go ahead and click on publish and we'll open up our gallery page in a new tab and here we have the following images with the text okay if we switch back to gallery type A click on update once again refresh this page you'll see that we have the following image slideshow and the text underneath that okay so these are just the options of how to create a new gallery I uh, hope this video helps. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys around later.